Fakalof Lahiatu. My name is Lino Nelisi. Go out, go to Fine, Abaseli, my Hemotu Koniwe. This afternoon, I'm going to share with you three stories that I have written. I am an educator, I am an author, a New Zealand and a New Wayan author. I'm going to share with you my very first story about myself. And this is myself. And it's about my brother, my favorite brother, Tuki, who passed away two years ago. So I wrote a story about my brother and I refer to him as Uncle Tuki. He was the main character in all of the stories that I wrote. I have written round about 78 books in English, Niwayan, Tongan, Samoan, Cook Island, Tokelowen, and Maori. I also have written a story that is translated into Spanish. So here we go with this story. Uncle Tuki's Mauku. Mauku is a funeral in my culture. Uncle Tuki's Mauku. It was Saturday night. Kuka was at home with mom and dad. Auntie Petalini was there too. They were looking at Uncle Tuki's photo. There they are. Kuka was very sad. I will miss Uncle Tuki, he cried. We will all miss Uncle Tuki, said mom. She hugged Kuka. Tomorrow you can say Kwe Kia to Uncle Tuki's Mauku, said Dad. I want to make Uncle Tuki a card, said Kuka. I want to say Kwe Kia. That night, Kuka made a card for Uncle Tuki. Mom, said Kuka, can the card go with Uncle Tuki to the Mauku? Eh, said Mom, I will put the card in Uncle Tuki's pocket now. The next day, Uncle Tuki and his family went to Uncle Tuki's Mauku. There were lots of people at the Mauku. They all came to say Kwekia to Uncle Tuki. At the Mauku, Kuka cried. Mom, Dad, and Auntie Petalini cried too. Kuka, said Auntie Petalini, today is a sad day, but it is good that Uncle Tuki has your card with him. Eh, said Kuka, I will always love Uncle Tuki. Now, this story is very special to me because it is about my family. Kuka is Uncle Tuki's favorite grandson. He brought him up when he was 
uh, a few months old. And Petalini is my niece. So therefore, it is important for me to write stories that are relevant for our students. And it is part of my culture, dying and respecting the elders. The dying uh, relative is very important in my culture. So I hope you do enjoy that, this story. This story was written uh, with the help of Australia Education. So thank you very much, Australia Education. So the next one is about walking to church, which is another cultural uh, important um, Sabbath event for Pacifica people. So I thought I would write a story about the importance of going to church. And what's important about this is I integrated the Mangaho New Way, my cultural heritage language, into the text together with the other story that I have written, I have read to you. So walking to church, story by Lino Nelisi, illustrated by Nanette Laulu. Walking to church, there they are. Okay. is asleep. Allah, wake up, Feleni, said Dad. We're going to church, said Dad. Feleni, Allah. I'll hack it where you feel in see my mouth. Come on, Felini, said Mum. I am coming, said Felini. <clears throat> Mum, Dad, and Felini are in the car. They are going to church. Hayal Utulu Hemotoka. Oh no! Hemongaho are dead, said Dad. Look at the cars. We cannot go. We are not at church, said Mum. I wonder what is happening to them. Look, said Fileni. I can see the church. We can walk to the church. There is Feleni pointing at the church. Fakaui. Thank you, Feleni said, Mom. We can walk to the church. I can stop the car here, said Dad. Yeah. Good, Mitaki, said Feleni, we are at church. Thank you for listening. Now, the next story that I'm going to share with you is about Atoa at school. Again, it is a story about my nephew, whose name is Atoa. Atoa at School, written by Lino Nelisi. Illustrations by Mikhail Mulipola. Atoa at School. Atoa woke up. I am going to the big school today, he said to Fitu. (laughs) 
Hey, you are going to my school, said Fitu to Atoa. I will walk with you. We will come too, said Mum and Dad. At school, Ato walked to his classroom. Talofa, said the teacher, I am Mrs. Latu. Talofa, I am Atoa, said Atoa. No four, Atoa said Mrs. Latu. Atoa sat on the mat. Mrs. Salatu read a book to the class. This is a good book, said Atoa to Mrs. Salatu. What word can you see on the top of this page? We can have some kai, said Mrs. Salatu to the class. You will go home after kai. Atoa sat on the mat. I am sleepy, said Atoa. Hey, kwa sewa de ya Atoa. Kwa fia mohe de ya Atoa. Oh, Atoa is asleep, said Mrs. Latu. Wake up, sleepy boy, said Mum. We are going home now. I like going to my big school, said Atoa, and I like going home to sleep. So that's the end of Atoa going to big school, from his preschool to primary school. So happy learning, Atoa, and be good to Mrs. Latu. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you very much, Australia Education, for the publication of these three stories that I have authored for uh, the primary school students, which is very special because new way and cultural words are included in the text. And I'm very proud. So, Listen in next time. Thank you.